Pick number six in the Associated Press preseason poll, Alabama opened with a 66-0 blowout of California at Birmingham's Legion Field with the Crimson Tide amassing 667 yards of total offense. That game would signal a trend of offensive dominance, and throughout the season, Alabama piled up gaudy numbers. In 1973, United Press International named Alabama its national champion following the Iron Bowl but AP announced it would wait until the outcome of the number one Alabama, number three Notre Dame game in the Sugar Bowl, marking the first matchup of these traditional football powerhouses in history. The game was a slugfest from the opening gun. After trading touchdowns in the third quarter, a halfback pass in the fourth put the Crimson Tide up by two, 23-21. The extra point, however, was missed and would prove crucial. The Fighting Irish later took a 24-23 lead with a field goal and though Alabama got the ball back, the Tide was unable to garner any significant momentum. Coach Paul Bear Bryant later would say, time just ran out on us. An Alabama loss in a bowl game once again forced a change in a poll's method of selecting a national champion. The UPI, having named the Crimson Tide national champion prior to the epic showdown with Notre Dame in the Sugar Bowl, began delaying, starting in 1974, its national champion selection until the bowl games had concluded. The trend continues today, but the name is different. In 1991, the poll was taken over by USA Today and now is known as the USA Today Coaches Top 25.